Okay, it's day four, colony four. Hope you're enjoying the series so far. If you haven't checked them out, go back and have a look at the last three days. But today we're looking at a new one. This, now this queen's been featured once before. We're gonna have a look at her. Technically, not a colony. But anyway, let's get started. When you think of iconic Australian ants, what comes to mind? Hmm, there's a lot of them. Maybe the meat ants. Yeah, there's, there's quite a few famous Australian ants. But housed inside this outworld is one of the famous ants. It's a bull ant. Now in Australia, there are 93 species of bull ants. So that's a pretty amazing. That's a lot of species just of any particular sort of ant. Now this particular one is Mimesia nigriceps and she's big. Now again, my daughter has named her and the name she's chosen is Rosie. So we're just gonna have to go along with it guys. Um, Rosie it is, the bull ant. I don't think that's a very uh, aggressive or big tough name for such a massive bull ant. So we'll get to the size in a second. So a bit of background with this um, queen. Caught her well over a year ago now. She laid some eggs um, and then she decided to eat them. And she actually hasn't laid again since. I'm trying to leave her alone. Now with bull ants, um, although I'm no expert on these girls, um, as you know, I don't have many colonies of these, but they require protein um, and sugars. Now the worker ants themselves eat the sugars but they need protein for the larvae uh, to feast on. But the queens also need a certain amount of protein as well to produce their eggs. Now here you can see the size of her. So she's well over that 20 millimeters. She's around about an inch long so around about 25 millimeters long. She's a very good climber as well. She climbs up into the uh, ceiling of this container that I house her in and I have put that plant in there as well, a bit of something for her to climb around. Now, bull ants are known for their excellent eyesight. They don't use chemicals or pheromones um, to track or to find food. They just hunt with their eyesight. Now, there's mandibles at the, um, on the mouth there, there to grip the prey, and then they sting. That's right, the sting. Now, Mimesia are renowned for very, very painful stings. I haven't had the pleasure of it yet, and I don't plan on it, but I guess in ant keeping, it's gonna happen one day. Now on the side of her thorax there, you know what they are? Yep, those wing scars as well, that darker section there as well. Now it's a little bit cloudy um, on the side of the test tube, unfortunately, to get some good footage. But you can see the abdomen here pulsing as well. Maybe she's a little bit cranky with me. So excellent eyesight in these particular ants. Um, all bull ants have big eyes like this. Now all the jaws are a little bit different, the mandibles, um, they do differ between the particular species. Mimesia nigriceps is one of the bigger of the bull ants and you've got this distinct colouring there, the uh, black head, the black tail and that red, reddy brownish body as well. So hopefully Queen Rosie will start to lay again. I'm trying to leave her alone. Um, she is very active and very healthy so Hopefully she does actually start to lay some eggs and then you can show you guys that particular um, phase of a colony's development. So I hope you've enjoyed this bull ant. Um, they are very iconic in Australia here. A little bit of a close up on here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's only a little bit of a short one because obviously I don't have lots of workers or brood or anything to show you. But anyway, she's long awaited. Uh, many people have wanted to see her. So I hope you've enjoyed this quick video of her. So thanks very much for watching guys. That's day four complete. Tune in tomorrow. We have day five, colony five, and one you've never seen before. Happy yank keeping.